What is up, Trilife on family? Hope everything is okay. This is Maurice, obviously. Welcome to my kitchen in Washington, D.C. Um, listen, I am sending you this recording to one. Thank you. The response that I've gotten to the material that I put out relative to trying life on has been nothing short of phenomenal. And I just wanted to say thank you. Um, it has been just my attempt to show people how you can dream again and how you can act on those dreams to build lifestyle you don't need a vacation from. And it has really been helping certainly the people that I work with on a day to day basis, but a lot of you who have reached out relative to the newsletter and the podcast. So I just wanted to say thank you for my house. Um, what I am going to do today is in this newsletter, you got an example of a perfect day, which was my perfect day rewrite and an example of a lifestyle blueprint. The number one question I get from most people is Maurice, what is the process that you are using to build lifestyle so I can understand it better. And it's it's not a secret process or anything, but it is something that's very intentional. So here we go. So the first thing is I am always, we always start at the perfect day. There is some emotion, some day that you think that you should be living uh, each time that you wake up. And one of the reasons that we never achieve that day is we physically don't write it out. And one of the reasons we don't write it out is because adults have forgotten how to dream. If you think back to when you were 10 years old or eight years old, you had no restrictions, no constraints on your mindset for what was possible in life. You wanted to be a rocket man or a uh, professional athlete or a ballerina or a skater or uh, an artist. And then all of a sudden, 20 years of formal education is kind of pushing us on what we are supposed to be. So inevitably, when I work with people from a lifestyle design perspective, when I ask them to write their perfect day, the thing that usually comes out first is a responsible day because we've been trained over time to be responsible. But take a step back. If you read my perfect day and I was being a little bit vulnerable and letting you know your perfect day does evolve over time. And nowadays what I want is more simplicity. I actually want to slow down my business life. I want to spend more time in the Mediterranean, which is happening. Uh, more time with my boys and uh, build additional lifestyle. So I write it out. I want to wake up at 4 a.m. still in the morning and go to the gym. I'm still that type of person. I want to um, look out over my pool and see the Mediterranean Sea. I want to see mountains in my backyard. I want to uh, constantly go for walks and spend time in coffee shops with people that I adore and what have you. Those attributes for me evoke emotion. I want to be with my family. I want to be able to run remote businesses, et cetera. When you, and, and by the way, so back in the day, um, look, I became a police officer at 33. I started investing in apartment buildings or buying apartment buildings at age 41. And I started developing land in the Mediterranean, specifically Cyprus at age 44. And I'm actually building a home there, which will be built it's actually about 40% complete right now and will be done in April. That's all because I wrote down perfect days over time and I acted on the I acted on the attributes that I needed to accomplish that day. Everything starts with the perfect day. If you cannot dream it, it will not happen. If you cannot see it for yourself, it will not happen. And I much prefer to write a perfect day uh, than to just do a vision board, for example, because it gets very specific. Where are you? What does the air feel like? What temperature is it? Who are you with? Who is your loved one? What are your kids doing? Uh, are they tracking sand in the house coming from the beach? Do you hear your cell phone ringing in the background with two or three investors from your business? And all you have to do is handle those two, three calls for the day. Uh, do you want to be an artist? So you found a who versus thinking about the what forever. And you hired someone who's going to teach you how to do, let's say, pottery or something like that, that you can actually sell in a studio. Have you found a studio person that you can work with? Like, who is that studio person? You get very, very prescriptive on what your perfect day is. Then what I have found over time, you can take that perfect day and break it down into goals. 
Those goals sit in what I call the five freedoms, time freedom, financial freedom, geographic freedom. And geographic freedom is not traveling all over the world. That's not what it is. Geographic freedom is your ability to be mobile when you need to, right? So for example, I'm in Washington, D.C. today, but I have the ability to be mobile. I need to go up to New York in a couple of days. I need to go to Dallas for a TV interview. I need to get back to the Mediterranean to do some, some work. I have the ability to be mobile. I have geographic freedom. So goals in time freedom, financial freedom, geographic freedom, freedom to execute your purpose, whatever your purpose is. For me, it was being a police officer for a long time. I wanted to give back to my local community. And now it's doing philanthropic work in the Mideast. I do like small micro projects um, to help families in the Mideast. Um, and then freedom to build meaningful relationships. If you are at your office from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and you are in marketing, that means you are meeting people and talking marketing from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. But if you want to be an artist, that means you have no space, no physical and mental space to meet someone who is an artist. So you don't have freedom to build meaningful relationships. Relative to your perfect day, we can get, we write goals in those freedom buckets, okay? And then for those goals, okay, there are blockers to achieving those goals. You have some relative blocker. If you want to, for example, from a financial freedom perspective, have passive income and you want to get passive income from real estate and you don't have the knowledge, then what you are lacking is knowledge. Your blocker is the knowledge. You can overcome that blocker by partnering with someone like a Maurice or by reading a book or by listening to podcasts or by going to a seminar. If you want to have geographic freedom to be all over the world or wherever it is you want to be, or even just at home and be a wonderful stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home father, and you need uh, geographic freedom for that, then maybe what you need to do relative, or maybe a blocker for you is having to go to the office every day. And an action to get over that blocker would be to present a solution to your employer, not a problem. You present a solution by which they could support that so you could be working virtually from home, right? If I'll give you one more example, um, freedom to build meaningful relationships. Uh, I have a coaching student who was very interested in, uh, from a purpose perspective, he was very interested in becoming a voiceover artist. He was in the IT space. And... Uh, to get over that blocker of how do I get into being a voiceover artist, we found someone who was in the industry, was able to get that person's attention. We connected my coaching student to that person, and we immediately got rid of the blocker that was stopping him from becoming a voiceover artist. See, that's the thing. If you can break down your perfect day into goals and understand the limitations that you have on those goals, the work comes in when you create the action to get over those blockers, because if you can get over those blockers, in theory, it's not that you're going to live your perfect day every day. It's that you will have a framework by which you can live your perfect day whenever you want. So here I am in Washington, D.C. today, and I do need to be in different parts of the U.S. over the next week. And then in two weeks, I need to be in Cyprus to do some work and to go check on my home that's being built. I can do that. I have a framework by which I'm living my perfect day. Excuse me, by which I can live my perfect day. Now, here's the thing. It's a framework. It is constantly evolving because your perfect day is constantly evolving. So where in 2008, what I really wanted for myself was to be a police officer with a take-home car. In 2023, what I really want for myself is to slow down business, spend more time in the Mediterranean, uh, work on my try life on projects and be with people that I care about deeply. Right. So my perfect day has evolved, which is why I rewrote my perfect day and reconstructed my lifestyle blueprint. And I shared it with you so you can see exactly what I'm working on to create the dynamic by which I have a lifestyle that I don't need vacation from. So I hope that makes sense. It's not uh, easy for me to explain it in a quick video most of the time when I'm working with people, it's over a three month period. And a lot of the blockers related to getting to goals can be mindset related, can be knowledge related. Um, it can be we need to find a person 
It can be as simple as me pushing and keeping someone accountable to getting something done. But that's that rat race feeling, right? When we are working on things that have nothing to do with the dreams that we have for ourselves, That is the benefit of this process. Drafting your perfect day with all the emotion you can possibly do. Where do you want to be? How do you want to feel? Who do you want to be with? Drafting your perfect day. Rereading it to yourself. Absorbing that emotion into your nervous system. Breaking it down into goals. Figuring out what the blockers are to those goals. And then flat out executing to get rid of those blockers. So you have a framework by which you can live your perfect day anytime you want. I have had that over the past decade. I have done some pretty amazing things, but just like you, I'm evolving. I'm changing as a person. I've done a lot of uh, inner work, if you will, about what it is that I want for the rest of my life because I'm not the 33-year-old guy anymore. I'm 15 years later and want something radically, uh, not radically different, but a very different vibe of what I want life to be like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um I hope that is helpful to you. If you have questions relative to that, you can send me a message at maurice at trylifeon.com. Um, I will likely respond in a voice note to you to try and help you. If it's easier for you, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. I will try and get you a voice note there. But go back into the newsletter and read all the detail in the perfect day that I wrote and then see how my lifestyle blueprint matches the perfect day and the actions that I am working on to make sure that I build framework for a lifestyle I don't need a vacation from. It is a very, very, very powerful process. So much so I was running outside. I got a little sweat on my sleeve here. And because I got to get on a plane tomorrow, I wanted to make sure that this video came to you so I could, you know, just give you a verbal uh, download of the process that you were reading in the newsletter, which might be a little bit lengthy. Okay. Uh, once again, perfect day, freedom goals, blockers to those freedom goals, actions to get over the blockers, build a framework for a perfect day and for lifestyle you don't need a vacation from. If I can help you with it, let me know, maurice at trylifeon.com. I do plan to do a, a webinar on the topic so people can ask direct questions. But hopefully this gives you a sense of, please don't accept status quo. And please know that you are constantly evolving. You are changing inside and out. Your perfect day is going to change. Most of you are probably not trying to be the CEO of some company. You are trying to live a beautiful lifestyle, a more simplistic one to be connected to earth and planet as intended, to be with your loved ones as intended, to live in some unique place in the world, or to just be home with your family and watch TV with them and be available for them. Go after it, it's worth it. I wish on you uh, the experiences that I have had because I was intentional about writing my perfect day over the years. And one more thing, writing a perfect day does provide for a lot of detail, it does. But I also respect the use of tools like vision boards. Um, Pinterest is a great way, Some someone I was dating um, showed me how to use, uh, we would, we would Pinterest together about, uh, let's say visioning, right? Like once Pinterest came out, you could do digital vision boards, which is great. But the difference is when you draft a perfect day and you feel it and you're writing it, that detail is going to soak into you, uh, much more so than I think just something on a board will, right? Because you're putting so much attention into it and so much energy in it, you'll get that right back out of it. Okay. Hope that's helpful. I hope you get out there and try life on. This is just a very impromptu video uh, that I wanted to get out. I realized I was putting this very detailed newsletter out and I thought an accompanying video would be helpful. Again, I love you for the feedback that you've been sending me. I will continue to do my best to try and put good material out there. If you have any ideas, please maurice at trylifeon.com. Keep your fingers crossed because part of my dream day includes doing some more projects that will get some more visibility across the world. So. I hope it will come, but I am certainly working on it and not allowing status quo to dictate anything that I do, nor should you. Take care.